वैक्यूम सर्किट ब्रेकर इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिलायबल एंड द मोस्ट एफिशियंट टेक्नोलॉजी करंट इंटरप्शन टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इज अवेलेबल राइट नाउ इन द मार्केट इट कंप्लीटली डॉमिनेट्स द मीडियम वोल्टेज स्विच गेयर इंडस्ट्री एंड आई थिंक वी शुड नॉट बी सरप्राइज इफ इट ऑल्सो डॉमिनेट्स द हाई एंड एक्स्ट्रा हाई वोल्टेज स्विच गेयर इंडस्ट्री द क्वेश्चन इज वाई दिस वैक्यूम इंटरप्शन इज सो रिलायबल एंड सो एफिशियंट हाउ इट वर्क well in this video we are going to break down the principle of vacuum circuit breaker in very very easy way so make sure you watch the video till the end hello there welcome to the video if you are new here my name is gaurav j on this channel i simplify electrical engineering you will find a lot of content that is relevant to you and it will clear all the concepts all the confusing concepts in a very very easy way and also there are a lot of content that is coming in on the channel so make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the updates for now uh, let us talk about the vacuum circuit breaker but first let us clear the basics first let us understand why do we need circuit breakers so we have current flowing into the system now definitely there will be situation when we need to break the current now how do we break the current of course by simply opening the contacts of the switch if we are using the switch or either you can cut the conductor well cutting the conductor is not uh, the efficient or the reliable option available so definitely we use some sort of medium like the switch or the circuit breaker now what happens is uh, let's let's take one example here we have the contacts uh, let's say we have circuit breaker contacts when it is in close condition it is carrying the current but the moment we open this contacts the arc will stuck the arc is inevitable arc is nothing but the flow of current via the air this will stuck uh, you cannot avoid it the only difference is for lower voltages it is very very minimal and uh, the existing switch will be able to take care of that but as we go towards the high and extra high voltage we are talking about here let's say 12 kilo volts 36 kilo volt maybe 145 245 400 and above in that scenario the intensity of the current is very high and as a result uh, the power of the arc will be also very very high right and in that situation we definitely need to have some sort of special medium which will also take care of this arc it will not only interrupt the current but will also take care of uh, the arc that is uh, getting established after opening of the contacts and vacuum is one of that medium that will help us in quenching the arc now the intensity of the uh, arc varies as i said if uh, the current is less the arc intensity will be less that is what we see in the low voltage or the in our household applications as well but if the intensity of the current is high that is in case of fault condition when short circuit happens the intensity of the current is very very high during that time definitely the intensity of the arc will also be very very high now in this scenario the regular switch is not able to break that arc or break that current in that case we need some sort of special device a special interrupting device that is nothing but the circuit breaker and vacuum is one of the technology uh, one of the medium that can help us in clearing that fault current and that is why uh, having the circuit breaker in the system is very very important so that is the basics of it now if that is clear let us go and understand how the vacuum circuit breaker works so to understand that first we need to understand why the arc is getting stuck right the arc is getting stuck because there are free electrons available across the contacts that is getting separated right we are opening the contacts to break the current but since there are free electrons available across the contacts uh, the uh, the fact that free electrons are getting ionized because we also have a voltage pressure across the contact and as a result uh, the arc is getting stuck imagine we have two contacts of circuit breaker placed inside a cubicle which is filled with the atmospheric air when the contacts are closed the current is flowing through it but in case of fault i definitely need to open the contacts to safeguard my circuit so the moment i open uh, definitely the arc will stuck here you can see why because there are free electrons available across the contacts and since we also have a voltage pressure across the contact uh, it will stuck it the arc will establish and what is arc arc is nothing but the flow of current that is happening via the air 
clear and this is not a successful interruption arc means the current is still flowing through the system the fault current is still there in the system and this is not a successful interruption we can only call the interruption as successful if the arc is completely extinguished clear so from this explanation what do we understand is the major reason why the arc is getting stuck because of the free electrons available across the contacts or near the contacts now uh, the solution to this is if we can somehow take out this free electrons if we can somehow address this free electrons maybe the arc will not stuck because there are no sufficient free electrons available for arc to stuck right so let's say what happens instead of placing this contact inside the air if we can put it inside an empty space like vacuum where there will be no solids there will be no liquids there will be no gases if we can put this contacts inside such medium such vacuum what will happen well the contact opens the arc will stuck for short period of time but since there are no sufficient free electrons available near to this contacts the arc will extinguish at the next current zero this is where the current is getting zero sinusoidal wave of ac and there are no free electrons available the arc will extinguish right that is how the current the arc is extinguished uh, in the vacuum circuit breaker but here is one more point that you must note so the moment we approach the current zero the rate of rise of recovery voltage or the rrrv will come into picture now as the rule as a law this voltage will try to maintain the current at a constant level and as a result it will try uh, again it will try so that the arc will stuck and current will continue to flow now what happens is if this rate of rise of recovery voltage is higher than that of the rate of rise of dielectric strength around this contact then the arc will stuck 100% here the interruption has failed the arc has stuck uh, the current is still flowing in the system and it's the worst condition why this is happen uh, let me explain you one more time because the dielectric strength around the contact or the insulating strength around the contact is not sufficient enough to tackle this rate of rise of recovery voltage as a result the arc reignites and as an engineer as a design engineer our job is to make sure that in the race between this rate of rise of recovery voltage and rate of rise of dielectric strength always the rr ds must win and only then a successful interruption can happen if the rrrv wins the interruption is not successful the arc will reignite so and that is where uh, this vacuum comes into picture so when the rate of rise of recovery voltage is lower and the dielectric strength is high enough to tackle this uh, there won't there will not be any reignition and now we can say that the current has interrupted successfully and that's where the vacuum comes into picture vacuum make sure that the the dielectric strength is always higher than that of the rate of rise of recovery voltage and as a result the interruption that happens in the vacuum is the reliable one i'm not saying the other technologies are, are not reliable uh, but definitely a vacuum will score more because there are no environmental impacts of a vacuum circuit breaker as compared to the sf6 technology that we have so that is how uh, the current is interrupted that is how uh, we can extinguish the arc but there is an issue here since when the arc is stuck uh, it can heat up the contacts that are there inside the vacuum interrupter and when they heat up uh, well it can create a problem and that problem is critical enough that it can reignite the arc your interruption will not be successful now what is that issue i can definitely make a dedicated video on that uh, if i get um, 1000 likes on this uh, video then definitely i'll be making video explaining what is the issue why this vacuum circuit breaker can fail because of that issue i'll be explaining in detail in that video so make sure you like this video if you want to have that uh, dedicated video so that's how the vacuum circuit breaker operates now let us quickly summarize the sequence of current interruption here so first 
the system will detect the fault of course circuit breaker uh, will not have its own brain so relay will give the command to circuit breaker and circuit breaker will trip circuit breaker will open its contact the moment contacts are open uh, uh, contacts will separate the moment it is open the arc is stuck uh, due to the ionization of surrounding air or whatever particles are there for a brief amount of time but since we are opening the contacts in vacuum where are there are no sufficient electrons available the arc will extinguish very quickly and the moment arc is extinguished or the arc is quenched no current will flow through the circuit breaker preventing the circuit from being damaged and that's how the current interruption happens and this happens within milliseconds within milliseconds so it's very fast and very quick and very very reliable so that is how uh, the sequence of current interruption now so far what we talked about we talked about only the vacuum interrupter the vacuum bottle what you can see on your screen now only this vacuum bottle is not sufficient to interrupt the arc right so what do we have here we have a vacuum bottle this you can see the outer portion of that then we have two different contacts here one will be the fixed contact one will be the moving contact and you can see the bellow here now we need to open these contacts right we need to you know pull that contact at a certain pressure at a certain force and for that we need an operating mechanism we cannot do it manually with the help of hands right so we need some sort of operating mechanism so you can see in the image we have this operating mechanism spring spring operating mechanism is what is most commonly used in the uh, vacuum circuit breakers so these springs will help us in opening the contacts efficiently and at a particular speed so that is this uh, contact that we have and then everything is also assembled inside insulating materials like this uh, which protects the vacuum bottle the mechanism from the external environment and this complete whole assembly is what we call as the vacuum circuit breaker now not only the interrupter part only the vacuum bottle will not be able to quench the arc so definitely along with that we need uh, the operating mechanism and the other things of that i have a dedicated video explaining what are the different key components the key parts of vacuum circuit breaker if you are interested in watching that i'll put a link for it down in the description so that's how the vacuum circuit breaker operates i hope this explanation made you very very clear on how the interruption happens in the vacuum circuit breaker uh, by the way if you want me to make a similar video explaining how the sf6 circuit breaker works then do comment sf6 working if i get enough comments then definitely i'll be making one dedicated video explaining how the sf6 uh, current interruption happens that is also by the way very very interesting if you want to learn more about circuit breaker i have a dedicated and a popular playlist on that i'll put link for it down in the description you can go and check out different videos on circuit breaker so that's all for this video guys i hope you understood the working principle of uh, the circuit breaker vacuum circuit breaker if you like the video give it a give it a, a thumbs up thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning